All right, so we got part two for our picture video ready to go. I got this zoomed in. It's, it's less important you see me and more important you see what's actually going on here. Um, this is a system that we can show actually how the natural alkaline process works. Uh, it's pretty unique like that, so that's what I want you to be able to take a look at. Uh, if you haven't watched part one where we go through how to set this up and flush the filter and all of that, please do so and then come back and watch this one so you get kind of the whole storyline. But let me start here. What I'm going to do is pour some, this is just some bottled water to the store. It gives us a good baseline to start with. I want to show you some numbers to think about on the front side. We're going to start with, with ORP here um, because ORP is one that doesn't get a lot of talk. It's more the pH stuff, but can you see that number? We're at about 370 now and still climbing. 376, 380. All right, so you get an idea. Probably end up close to 400. Oh, there you go. There's 410 now on the positive side, which means it's what? An oxidant. It's not good for us to be drinking, and that's very, very common across all bottled waters. It doesn't matter what type, which variety, um, they're all going to have a positive number on that, even the bottled alkaline waters. Okay, so let me show you then, we'll do the pH. This is the part that I think is pretty cool, because you can actually see it go from one to another. I all my drops here. All right, so we got a, a nice orange color. You see that? Does that little background help a little bit? So the orange, orange on the, on the scale here with the bottle is about a four, four to five. So I'm gonna take that acidic water, pouring it into our pitcher, the reservoir on the top. See the water's running from here, through the pitcher, and into the bottom, right? You see that process happening? Sure enough, glare on it. All right, pop the lid on here. You never wanna pour this without the lid on. You'll end up with more of it going on the floor than in the glass. But you see that right there? It's no longer orange in the bottom. Pour in a glass here so you can see it. And we have a nice purple color to that water now. And I think even more importantly, let's look at that ORP number. See how that's jumped now? We're at a negative 300. So what, a 900 point? No, I'm sorry, 700 point swing on that. We were at not negative, or we were at positive 400, now we're at a negative 350. That's the cool thing that we like about the natural alkaline side of things, besides it being simpler and easier and safer, is you can scale this. You can make this work on any size system you want. Most importantly, things to remember, the better the water is going in the top, the better the water will be coming out the bottom. Um, just think of any filter. It, the harder it has to work, the, the maybe the less um, potent it's going to be on the other side. And then the last thing is contact time. We have a little hole in the bottom of the filter here that controls how fast the water goes through. The more time the water has with the minerals, the better reaction we get, the more potent numbers we get as well. So there you go. Get an indication. And, and complete transparency sake, this is not an old filter, right? We flushed it a few times, and that's the, that's the number we got right out of the bag it's gonna decline a little bit with use, right? It's the way anything should. The filter's gradually gonna wear out. That's why we recommend changing that every couple of months and bringing it back to the out-of-box performance. But you're still gonna have the alkaline numbers, you're still gonna have the negative ORPs, the antioxidant qualities. That lasts throughout the, the length of the filter. We just want you to know that not necessarily everybody is gonna get a negative 400 ORP, okay? Cool, let us know if you have any questions. Hope this helps.